Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm super excited to show you the Integra Accolade. Now today, this is gonna be great because you're gonna to get to see three different floor plans. We actually have three different floor plans on the lot and three different exterior colors. So this is the gorgeous cobalt. You're also gonna see the crimson and the fawn. And then I'm gonna show you the floor plans of the TS, the L, and the K. So you can get a lot of information in this video. I'm excited because this is my first class, um, super, my super C to do. So this is like what the big bad boys drive um, with this truck light front. This sits on the S2 RV Freightliner chassis with the ISB Cummins 360 horsepower diesel engine. So for the price point, you get a ton for your money. Biggest bang for your buck out there on a Super C. The Accolade comes with the one piece seamless fiberglass front cap with the automotive bonded windshield. So you're not gonna have to worry about any leaking. Look how beautiful and sleek that looks. It also, we also have the deluxe full body paint and diamond shield. So you can see we've got diamond shield across the front here to protect that beautiful paint job. Now I'm sure you wanted to see what's inside this hood. So let's take a look. So it's really easy, just unlatch here. I'm gonna go to the other side here and then you walk to the front and you've got a little uh, handle here, so you just pull it forward. It's on struts and it's really easy to do here. So over here on the left side, or driver's side, we have our fuses. We have our uh, dipstick for our oil, so we can just check that here. Then we've got our trans oil dipstick, and this is gonna be the dipstick and the fill there. We've got our power steering fluid, and then we've got our radiator here right in front, obviously. And right below here, we've got our fuel water separator. Over here on the passenger side, we've got our wussy horn here. Now in this big truck, you're probably never gonna use that. I would always recommend using the air horn. We've got our windshield wiper fluid. We've got our engine air filter and our air, air binder, our coolant, our dash AC. And this is where we fill the oil. So when you're all done, it's easy to shut as it was to open. shut and then you just come back over here look it right there the accolade comes standard with the 275 michelin tires with the alcoa rims so that's great something that i want you to go and watch is my video on retroband retroband is basically a spare within your tire it's sold exclusively by national indoor rv centers and it can be a potentially life-saving device We've got our chrome exterior mirrors. These are internally controlled and you do have defrost on them. And then we've got the nice step up into the truck and notice again that we've got that seamless front cap. No seam here on the edge and no seam here. The seam doesn't start until here. So that's just a nice feature. Then we've got our side view camera. So when I put on my right and left turn signals, signals I'm gonna see down the full length of the coach, which is huge when you're changing lanes, driving, turning, whatever. The Alclade comes with the Easy Drive Premier Package. So that's rear air suspension. Then you have the heavy duty rear stabilizer bar, which is gonna give you added support and stability. Full disc brakes all the way around. So you've got that full diesel setup with more stopping power. And then you've got the Sax shocks. So you've got a couple ways that you can get into your coach. Obviously, you can use your key. You can get into the front um, cap with your key. And then you can set your own uh, unique code here. So if you want to give that to a service technician or to your friends, grandkids, they can get into the coach just that way. Now, one thing I really want you to take note of is the two-year warranty. Now, this is huge. So Integra is one of the few companies that gives you a two-year warranty. Something that you're gonna love about this coach. Gives you peace of mind. Basically, you're gonna get through a couple camping seasons, take your coach out, use it. You can store it for the winter. You come back out, ready to use it again, and you still have more warranty on your coach. So if anything goes wrong, they're gonna take care of you. Now, as you go into the coach, you'll notice that we have 
the three steps. I really like that so you don't have to like, you know, really haul yourself into the coach. Nice lower front step. And then you've got this nice door with the big window. And then right inside, you've also got the strut here. So that keeps the door from, you know, flying open and hitting the side of the coach. And then we're gonna talk about our awnings. We've got the carefree awnings and you can control the pitch. So you can have it come out where it's pretty straight or you can have it come out to more of an extreme pitch. So right now it's set to come out pretty straight. If you need more shade, you may wanna you know, angle that pitch a little bit more. And this is how you do that. So you're just gonna push in here and you would do this to both sides. And then there's a little trick that I'll show you once it's, it's extended. So now that I've altered the pitch of the awning, I'm gonna go inside and bring that down. So now I've really got a really nice deep pitch in my awning, so that's gonna give me some extra shade. Another thing that I like that you can do with this awning is you've got LED lighting across the awning and you can direct that. So I can direct it down to the ground or back onto the couch or halfway in between. And that's just by, I'm gonna turn on the awning lights here. And then just by extending and retracting my awning just a little bit, I can tweak where that light shines. Okay, so now here's the trick. Say that it's pouring rain outside and you don't wanna have a big mud puddle in front of your front step. You wanna direct that, way, that rain to the far corner. So all you have to do is come over here to your awning and push that button in. And now I've got a slant to my awning and the water's gonna run off that far corner rather than right here. So now that our awning's out, let's go ahead and open up our exterior entertainment center. So we've got the 39 inch Insignia flat screen TV and that's on a swivel, so you can pull that out and adjust that to where your guests are sitting or where it's not getting the glare of the sun on it. We've got the two Furion speakers, our DVD player, and our two 110 outlets. We have our exterior security light. Note that we have the dual pane frameless tinted windows. And then just above here, you're probably wondering what that vent's for. That's the vent for your convection microwave oven. Now let's check out the storage that you get in the 37K floor plan. So nice, big storage compartments. I was pretty impressed with the size, so I brought out my handy dandy little um, tape measure here just to give you an idea. Your opening here is about 27 inches. Ceiling to floor, you're about 30 inches. So the ceiling to the, the floor of the pass-through here is gonna be just about 13 inches. So that's really nice amount of space for your pass-through and then these big compartments here. Now while I've got you down here, you can see over there that we've got the solar prep. And I'll show you that on the other side too. So the K floor plan is a bath and a half. And so you get two black tanks and two gray tanks on this coach. So you're gonna have 72 gallons of fresh water. You're gonna have 91 gallons of gray and 63 total of black. So here is where your half bath is gonna be. And this is going to be the pull valve for your black tank from your half bath. Just above the storage compartments, we have the vent for our furnace. Then we're gonna keep going back here. We've got our marker light here. Again, I showed you the black holding tank in there. Then we've got our LP tank, which is 16.5 gallon LP tank. And if you look right up in here, we've got our quick connect for our gas grill. And just above our LP tank, we've got a little area here. I'm sure one of our tanks is behind that, but you can Velcro some tools or hoses on there. I've seen some of my customers do that, just get some Velcro and put their extension cords here or tools. So they give you that extra space. I'm sure you'll find something to put there. I know I would. So more storage, plus we've got our gray water holding tank and our black holding tank in here. So 
nice big storage area. We've got a light, and then we've got our T-bars for our black and our gray tank for our rear bath. Then our last storage compartment here, again, nice deep space, and we've got a light in there as well. So we have our molded one-piece fiberglass back cap, and that just makes it look really nice. We've also got the extra brake light. We have our rear view camera, so that when we're in reverse, we can see what's behind us. Here's your hitch, and on this diesel engine, you're gonna have a 12,000 pound towing capacity. So that means you're gonna be able to bring all your sand dune buggies, um, all your toys, you're not gonna have a problem uh, bringing those along with you on your vacation. And then we've got our seven-way plug here for the lights for your tow vehicle. Here we have our 10 gallon hot water heater. And you can see that we've got a little peephole here so we can see if it's lit. And then right below this, we've got the exhaust. That's our exhaust for our generator, which is right behind this door. So we've got our 8,000 watt Onan generator. And we also have a low point drain right in here, which you'll need to know if you're going to winterize your coach, you make sure you drain all the water from there something that you don't have to worry about if we are lucky enough to have you as a storage customer at National Indoor RV Centers where we always keep you plugged in and you don't need to winterize. Here we have our fuel fill for our 100 um, gallon diesel fuel tank. Then we've got another gray water holding tank and low point drains. So here's our wet bay. All right, so here we've got another black tank valve and gray tank valve. I love that they've given us a place to hold our paper towel so that when we're done with all this dirty business, we can clean up. And right back here, we have our um, shower hose. Basically, we can connect right here. So once we get back from the beach or the sand dunes or whatever, you know, we can wash ourselves off, our furry friends, our kids, and we do have hot and cold there and it's a nice, you know, like strong nozzle, so it's gonna get the dirt off. I like that. Now over here, let's go over, we've got our water pump, so we can turn our water pump on here. And then this is gonna give us all of our city water inlet. Um, it's gonna tell us how to winterize, sanitize, how to fill our city wa water, dry camping, and power fill tank. So it'll let us know where we need to turn these levers for the appropriate um, tasks that we want to accomplish. Then we've got our black tank flush and our city water fill here. We've got our satellite and cable inputs and this is for our macerator. Right there. We have our water filter and our low point drains. Here is our engine exhaust. Then we've got our pass through here. Now this is really cool. Here's our 50 amp shore power cord. The cool part is that it's on a power rail so you can just bring it right back in. Then we've got a little door here. When we are setting up camp, we can thread that through there. Keep the critters, bugs, insects out of our coach. Then we have our pass-through storage compartment here and our second pass-through. So in here, we've got our air tank release valves behind the black little doors. So basically, probably every 30 days, you ought to pull those. You've got the full um, air brakes all the way around. So you want to pull those to release any air that's in your ping tank um, to keep your brakes working properly. And you've got one here and one there as well. And then we've got our 2000 watt inverter. And here, we have our house and chassis batteries. So they're on the Moride slide tray, so you just lift these levers, pull it out to access your batteries. We've got our side view camera for the driver's side of the coach, and then we've got our fill for our DEF tank. Now remember that DEF does have a shelf life of about a year. It doesn't like heat and it doesn't like light. So if you're going to be staying at a campground for a long period of time, you may not want to fill that up. You've got a gauge on your dash that tells you how full it is. So just something to think about um, with that. So if you're out and it's super cold, you know you need to go further south 
but this is your engine block heater. So if you need to plug in, just bring an extension cord over, plug that in, a couple minutes it will warm it up and you're good to go. So let's head inside. I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough at the 37 K, which is this floor plan. I do a really thorough one of the TS and then I'll do another quick walkthrough of the L. So as I come into the Accolade, I just want to point out a few things. First of all, I love that they've got nice grab bars, so that makes it easy to come in and out of the coach. Then right here as I step in, you've got the power disconnect, so that's nice, so you can turn that on or off as you come and go, and then your power step. So once you know that you're going to be settled for a day or more, you don't want this step coming in and out every time you open your door, so you just want to hit that so that your step will remain out. Then another feature I like, first of all, notice the cabinetry throughout this coach, all raised panel doors. That's on the upper and lower cabinets. So a lot of times if they're trying to, you know, save on money, they might just do the raised panel on the top where your eye hits or sees, but this is throughout the coach and the nice stainless steel residential hand pulls. And then we've got two hooks here so you can hang coats. Can hang keys. I just like having a compartment right when I walk in the coach. I can throw things that I don't want to leave all over. So nice feature. Then we've got our fire fire extinguisher. And now we're on the inside, which I love. So this is the Ham Hampton interior. And you'll note that we have flex steel furniture. We've got the theater seats here with the cup holders, nice little love seat here, dinette, solid surface countertops. I'll go through all of this. Um, but before I get into the living room, I want to talk to you a little bit about this area here. So this is the bunk. Gotta love it. First of all, one of the things that Integra does is that this will support 750 pounds. So that's two large adults. Um, to put it in perspective, <laughs> my son-in-law is, uh, he plays for the NFL, lineman, um, 6'5", 300 plus pounds. We can get two of them up there if we want to, and we're not gonna have to worry about that. So that's way higher rating than most uh, manufacturers put in their coach. Now also up here, we've got the window, which I love, and we've got our power button right here. So if we want to sleep up there, you can almost sleep underneath the stars. Um, not right now, because we're in our building at National Indoor RV Centers. <laughs> but um, I really like that feature. And you're not gonna have to worry about leaking because it's all automotively sealed there. Then we've got you know little cubbies for books or toys or whatever we want along the side here. Cup holder, then two USB ports and two 110 outlets. And we have the same over on this side. So another two 110, USB cup holder, cubby, and we have our light here as well. So we can turn that, and then when it's time to go to bed, we can just put our little privacy curtain up here, pull it across, and it's just super nice. Now we have the ladder as well, so that makes it super easy to get up into the bunk. And then when we're not using the bunk, we can literally just put that over here. If we want a little bit more access into the cab area of the coach, we can push that up onto the bunk. But you can get into it either way, but that just makes gives you a little bit more headroom as you're going down into the cab. One of the things that Integra does that I really love is that they give you a seat belt in each seating location. So that's unusual. You usually don't get that in like your booth for um, rear facing booths. So you've got seat belt in your two theater seating, your love seat, and then you have two seat belts in your forward seating booth and in your rear seating booth. So two, four, six, eight, plus your captain chairs, you can seat belt 10 people in the accolades. So that's pretty cool. Um, they go above and beyond and they pass the DOT's pull test for the safety. So they, they, they reinforced those areas and the slide itself so that they can pass that pull test. So that's pretty impressive. So as we move into the living room, I want to show you the beautiful um, theater seating. It's super comfy and it's powered. So you can just sit back and relax, <laughs> get ready to watch the TV show, take a nap. You've got the cup holders here, which is nice as well. And then we've got a little cubby for storing our remotes. We also have two um, USB chargers right inside here and you can charge a um, USB charger right uh, near the power switch for your theater seating. So that's pretty cool. So you've got those. We've also got our toggle switch for the lights that are just underneath the cabinet here. 
And then if you need it, you've got a 110 outlet here with two outlets. And then let's check out the storage while we're here. So again, note the beautiful raised panel doors, double strut hinges here, they're all hidden. So really nice storage there. These aren't gonna fall down on you. Another thing I wanna point out, it's just the small little details and they all add up to making this coach so pretty. But look at the beautiful lighting, the wall sconces. It's just the little things that make this so nice. At the end of the cabinet, we've got the toggle switch for the dinette light. One of the things that I like about the TS floor plan, 37 TS floor plan, is how open it feels. So again, we can get a lot of people in here, but it's not gonna feel cramped. We can also, we can sleep two here, two in the booth, two on the uh, jackknife, which I'll show you in just a second, and then we've got two back in the master bedroom. So sleeps a lot of people. Another thing that I really like is that your theater seating, which is the most comfortable seats, those are gonna be for me, <laughs> um, is directly across from the TV. So our TV's on the little TV lift right here. So we just hit the button and there's our TV. If we're not watching TV, then we have that nice big window so we can enjoy the outdoors. Also note the beautiful balances. They've got the nail head. They just did a really nice job on this coach. Right by the TV lift switch, we have another 110 outlet. So two 110 and two USB outlets. Then to make this uh, love seat into a jackknife bed. We're just gonna move this little lever here, lift up and pull that forward. And we can just tuck those seat belts all the way in so they don't get in the way of our sleeping. And there you go. You can sleep a couple more, more people here. So right here we have our digital display that pretty much controls almost everything on the coach. So I'm just gonna walk you through it. I'm gonna hit the home button and you'll see that we have the living room, kitchen, sink area, bed ceiling, and then our mastered lights. So I can just walk into the coach, hit all the lights on or hit all the lights off, super easy. I've also got my tank readings here. So I've got my fresh tank, gray tank, black tank, and my LP tank reading. And then I can turn on my water pump right here. Also, I can turn on my water heater, my electric side or my gas side from here. Then I'm gonna find out what my batteries are charged to. So my house is at 13.3, my chassis are at 12.8, and I've got the auto gin start. So I can start that here and I can set those settings as well. So this is gonna give me more of my, where I would set my auto gin start here. I can set the time that I want it to start, when I want it to come on, when the batteries go below a certain level so that it will kick on and charge. And then I can set how long I want it to charge for as well. You can um, also set your generator for quiet time. So if you don't want it to run through the evening, you can say that, you know, does it run from 9 p.m. till 9 a.m. Do those things. Then we've got just our light switch. So this is gonna go over our lights and our, and our awning and our porch. So we can put our awning lights on here our porch light. Now the porch light is gonna be outside, plus it's gonna illuminate just in the stairwell just a little bit, give you a little safety light as you come into the coach. Then we've got our living room lights, living room mid, sofa ceiling, kitchen sink, dinette ceiling, accent, hall, bed ceiling, bath, and vanity. Now any of those lights, which almost all of them except our awning and our porch, um, they've got a up and down arrow on them. So if you see that, that means that it's dimmable. So in the living room, if I just push and hold, you can see the lights are dimming. I'm just gonna do a few of those. And then it will remain at that setting until I go master light on, then it's gonna go back to full brightness. So that's really easy to control and nice to have that all at your fingertips. Then we can do our climate control. So we can turn on our rear and front um, AC. So you're gonna have a 15,000 watt um, BTU AC with a heat pump and a 13.5 BTU AC in this coach. You've got your furnace you can turn on here, your vent fan in your bathroom, and then your cool and your heat. This is gonna be for your slides and awning. This is where you're gonna extend them and retract them. Now you've gotta make sure that your ignition is off. There is a lockout. So if my ignition is on, I can't bring my slide rooms in or out. So we've got our bed slide, our dinette slide, patio awning, and kitchen slide. 
and then we've got our settings here. So you can download the Mira app so that you can control all these same functions from your phone as you can from the pad here. You can change the screen brightness. You can put it into cleaning mode so I can wipe that off and I'm not gonna, you know, change any settings on there, set the time, you know, all kinds of things that you can set from this screen here. So it's really nice to have now. Now in case, they've also given us a little backup if anything ever goes wrong. So we can manually turn on the porch light, the masonry light, the awning lights, accent lights. We can extend and retract the awning. And then we've got our master light on and our master light off. Right here, this is the And then up here, I just wanted you to notice a nice storage space that we have right above the door. We also have the vinyl padded soft touch ceiling and LED lighting throughout the coach. We've got our directional antenna here. So you just press the knob and then turn that into the direction that you think that you'll get the best reception. Also, I want you know, to note on that comes standard on the Accolade, the crown molding. So just another extra they pack into this coach. So we have our AV cabinet here. Now the Accolade comes standard with the WineGuard in motion satellite. So if you want to turn that on, there's a little button right in the back of this cabinet. You just turn that on and it will start searching. And then we've got our matrix system here so it can take your inputs. If you want to put the DVD player on your living room and your bedroom TV, you can do that there. And we've got our Sony DVD Blu-ray player. Then another nice little space here for extra goods. One of the things that I love about the booth dinette is that it's legless. So a lot of times you'll have a little arm or lever that gets in your way. You're, you know, you're hitting your knees against. There's no leg on this booth. So I can sit in here all the way across. You can see that it's nice and roomy, big tabletop here and easily have room for another full size adult. We have our cup holders. And then let me show you the other thing that I really like about this. Um, is that it's super easy to bring down. So I guess I should show you how the cushions remove. So take the cushions off here. I'm gonna make this into a bed and show you how easy that is to do and show you some of the storage that's underneath here as well. So underneath this cabinet here, we can put, we can store a whole bunch of stuff there, which is nice. And you've got that on both sides and you can see that you can just easily push those seat belts in if you're not going to use them. I'm going to take off my other cushion here. Again, another big storage compartment. And just note that steel frame, that's what's reinforcing those seat belts. And then now if we want to make this a bed, super easy. We just lift up on the table pull it out and then push it down and back. There's our base for our bed. And then we're just gonna bring in our cushions. And it makes into a really nice bed. One more thing I wanna talk about just before we head into the kitchen is our AC units. So they're ducted or we can have it like a direct dump. So you just change this. So say we're in Las Vegas and it's hot outside, the roof is taking all that heat in and I'm venting my AC across the, the whole coach. By the time it gets to the front and the rear of the coach, it's probably not gonna be that cold. But if I wanna come in and really cool the coach down quickly, I just wanna do a direct dump. So I'll take those, open up those vents, so it's just gonna come straight out at me. Now, once I've cooled the coach down, I can go ahead and shut those and vent it out and it will just give us a nice even cool um, across the coach. So now to the kitchen. Check out these beautiful solid surface countertops. I really love that high-end feature. And then we've got the nice covers, which cover our stainless steel gas cooktop. And that's a three burner cooktop. Very nice and stainless steel convection microwave oven. And we've got the little light button here that's gonna give us that light underneath our 
microwave. Note that we have the tile, the glass tile backsplash. It's really pretty. It just gives it that nice high-end feel. Great storage, nice and big. I could put an Instapot up there. I could put a blender. I could put a coffee maker. And speaking of coffee makers, you're probably wondering where you're going to plug that in. We've got two 110 outlets here. We've got our light for underneath the cabinet area here. And then we've got nice big storage area right over the sink. And then we have, look at that nice big stainless steel undermounted sink with the residential faucet. And then we've got storage. And check out these big drawers here. So lots of space here and here. And then four big drawers here, full extension. So you really have quite a bit of space to do all your cooking in this kitchen. So I love to make cookies, so I'm always thinking about where would I put my mixer. So mixer's probably gonna go right here. I can plug it in right there to my 110 outlet. And I've got a little flip drawer here and then two extendable drawers below that. So again, more storage. We have the residential refrigerator side by side for the refrigerator and the freezer. One of the things I love, love, love is that we have ice and water in the door. That's huge for me. <laughs> so you can get crushed ice too, that's my favorite. Um, but really nice and roomy. So you've got plenty of room for all your food. Then don't, for, don't think that we don't have a nice pantry. We've got two, so pillow up pantry here with lots of space and another down below. Here we have a thermistor that's gonna communicate with our thermostat to help keep the coach cooled or heated. So here in the bathroom, we wanna have a little privacy. So we've got our little uh, door, secure door holder here, a little bungee. That's gonna keep your door from coming out when you travel. So you can shut that off so you have complete privacy from the rest of your coach. I love that we've got a towel bar holder here, nice big mirror, solid surface countertop with a stainless steel sink. One of the things I love about this sink, there's like a little accent light and I think it looks so cool. So you can turn off your big lights and then just keep that little accent light on. I think that's nice for at night too. So if you have to get up, wash your hands, you don't have to turn on the big light. Um, we've got two 110 outlets here, big medicine cabinet. I love the residential lighting that they've given you. And then check out the storage below that sink, tons of space. And then we've got our toilet and our shower. Now this comes with a push pedal toilet and we have a macerator on this toilet. We've got our bathroom light, which is on a taco switch and our bath fan on a taco switch. We have another hook here for towels and then this big shower. Let me go ahead and show you how roomy this is. Lots of space. I love that I've got like a little seat here. I can shave my legs. And then we've got the shower head handheld or we can hook it up here. So that just gives you some options if you're washing little ones. Um, that's really nice. And then we've got the skylight. So you've got extra space if you're extra tall. Now if you want complete privacy in your bathroom, you also have the door here. So you can just unhook that, and then you've just got your bathroom. Separate bedroom, bathroom, living area. So here we are to the master bedroom. So I love this because we have a king size bed, and we've got these nice directional lights, so you can just turn those on for each individual person and use those. We've got the nice padded headboard there, we have a nightstand on each side and I've got walking space on each side too. And then we've got 110 outlets on each side of the bed base. So you can plug in or charge whatever you need to at night. Great storage above the bed with the double struts. It's nice and deep, get some nice containers and you can put your sweaters, your winter stuff back there. And then my favorite probably is this big, I haven't talked about the day and night shades that we get standard on this coach, but look at that big window. So really, if it's a nice night, I'm gonna open that window. That's also my emergency exit window, but I love having that big window in my bedroom. So they've given us lots of storage space in the Accolade too. So here, this is plumbed, ready for a combo washer dryer. So we don't have one, we didn't put it in, but we can add that if you'd like. Nice big storage cabinet above. 
two drawers below. Three more full length drawers. And then we've got the big drawers here in the center. Nice and deep. And then this is a flip down drawer. So here's our bedroom TV. You just have a little pull tab here, pull that. That's gonna release the TV. And then look at that huge storage space behind there. And then we've got the wardrobe hanging space on each side of the drawers. And then we've got extra drawers here. So you have plenty of storage. So I wanted to show you the Accolade TS with the slides in. Now one of the things I want to point out is that this bathroom area doesn't change when the slides are in or out. So you have plenty of space. You can get into the shower, to the potty, um, easily to your bedroom. So lots of space here. Again, I can get into my pantry all the way and my refrigerator. So there's really plenty of room here. Also my sink, I'm still gonna have one whole side of my sink that's exposed so I can work there, prep food, sit at the dinette, plenty of space in this 37 TS. All right, so now we are inside the 37 L. So that's your bunkhouse. So this coach is gonna sleep 10 people easily. We've got two in the overhead bunk, two here in the booth dinette, two here in the sofa that's gonna make out into a sleeper. We've got the bunk beds, one and two, and then the master bedroom uh, bed. So you can sleep 10 people. So this better be big in the living room, right? We've got the booth dinette, and then we've got the three-seater sofa here. Fireplace, fireplace is a great way to take the chill off those cold mornings. It, it heats. Um, you can set the temperature, so that's really nice. And then look at the big TV that they've given us. Huge TV, big, big kitchen. So again, if we're gonna sleep 10, we better be able to feed 10. So we've got the nice stainless steel sink here. And lots of storage. I'm just gonna open this all up so you can kind of see what we've got here storage wise big drawer underneath the cooktop here and then we've got nice storage above as well big compartment right here above the convection microwave oven we've got the furion convection microwave oven and we have our gas cooktop so stainless steel three burner really nice then we've got the residential refrigerator now if you want to be you know if your goal in this super c is to go you know out in the dunes and you want to dry camp you can still option in the gas refrigerator if you want we went ahead and put the residential in and the two ac units pantry more pantry space and now we're moving into the bathroom and bunk room area so check out these bunks nice big bunks and we've got a TV each has their own individual TV and window and light and we've got drawers below and then we've got our big bathroom here so pedal on the porcelain toilet Nice big medicine cabinet, lots of uh, counter space here, and more storage. And then we've got our big shower here. So nice and roomy shower, little soap holder. We've got the shower head that we can move and have it as a handheld or keep it set. Skylight, so there's plenty of room up above. Great big bathroom. Now to the master bedroom. <laughs> We've got 
the uh, big cabinet here. So this is plumbed for a combo washer dryer if you want to do that, or you can just keep it as a wardrobe as we have it right now. Oops. Storage. Nice, big, deep. And then check out well, the storage that we have over here. Another big TV. It's going to lift up. We've got the storage below behind that. And then another huge wardrobe. So again, it will sleep tin. We've got room to put a lot of clothes and stuff in the bed. Now I've got this bed retracted, so it's sitting up. So this is gonna be gonna give me more room in my bedroom when I'm getting ready. A little bench here. Obviously, when you go to bed, you're gonna bring that bed down and flat. But to bring the slide in and out, you do have to have the bed on the lift. So I wanted to show you the 37L with the slides in. You can see that you can easily get into the bunk area, into the master bedroom area, because that bed is on that slide, so it goes up easy, like full access into the bathroom. Your pantry, and your refrigerator and freezer. And then you've got lots of room here, so you can be enjoying the sofa and the living room, cooking in the kitchen, and really there's just a, you know, a little bit narrow space here between the dinette and the countertop, but you can easily get through. So now we're in the 37K, which is really 39 feet, 4 inches long. One of the unique things about this floor plan is that it is a bath and a half. So you're going to love that. Another thing that I really like about this is this big cabinet when you walk in the coach. So I like that because I can use this for the kids' stuff that are going to be in the overhead bunk. I can use it as a pantry if I want. Um, it's just very accessible, easy to get to, and really a lot of space to store stuff. And I don't really think it takes away from your living room because look at how much space we have here. So we have our booth dinette. Again, that's going to make it to a bed and sleep two more people. We've got our kitchen. We've got the extendable little countertop here that you can just pop up. And then you've got drawers below. So our nice solid surface countertop and then stainless steel sink. More storage. Really nice, tall, deep storage here. Another big space. Our convection microwave oven. And our three burner cooktop stove. Gas stove with storage below. Nice deep drawers. Again, we've opted in for the residential refrigerator. You can stay gas if that's what you want to do. Then I really like this living room area. You've got the TV right across from your theater seating. Now, you don't have a bed in here, but I could, would consider this a bed because look how far it extends. Pretty much would work for me. <laughs> then across from that, we have our fireplace. So that's a great way to take the chill off the evening or the mornings. You can set that thermostat and you've got your little AV cabinet here with your matrix box and your Sony Blu-ray DVD player. Then we've got our 39 inch TV here, flat screen TV. And here we are to our half bath. So this is really quite big for a half bath. Nice big medicine cabinet here, sink with counter space. Again, huge amount of storage here. And I don't feel like I'm in a, I mean, I don't feel like I'm super closed in. It's nice and big. And then we have a nice wind, nice big window here as well. You do have the day and night shades throughout the coach. Privacy door here into the master bedroom. So we have our king size bed, we've got our reading lights storage above the bed, big wardrobes here, and our 30, I think it's a 32 inch TV here, and then another big counter space here, windows, windows in our slide rooms. I really like that, just doesn't make you feel like you're caved in. I like that, I like being able to open the windows, see outside, and then into the main 
bathroom here. We've got our big shower here. You can see that that's nice and roomy. Again, you can use a handheld shower or put it up in the holder. Skylight, so you've got plenty of room if you've got guests that are tall. Then we have a nice medicine cabinet here. Look at all that space. Counter space, a stainless steel sink, more space here below, and drawers. Three drawers, look how deep and long those drawers are. Actually four, I got, one was hidden from me. <laughs> so four really nice, deep, long drawers. Then we've got this cabinet here, which you can use as storage, or it is plumbed for a combo washer and dryer if you'd like to do that. This is the 37K with the slides in. You can easily get to the king bed and the master, and then you can get to your mid bath here. You could be enjoying the theater seating here and watching TV and have the fireplace on. We've got full access to our refrigerator and freezer. Such a nice big refrigerator and freezer. So have a bowl of ice cream while you're going down the road. Cooking in the kitchen or sitting at the dinette, there's plenty of room in this floor plan. All right, so let's be honest. What's the real reason we want a big super C? It's for this, the air horn. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that fun? Didn't you remember doing that when you were driving road trips as a kid and you would try to get the truckers to honk at you? Well, now you can make some kids day. Love that feature. Um, then we have a little spot here for our sunglasses just above and of course our visor. We can pull down and keep that sun out of our eyes. Then down here to the left of me on the side of the door here, I've got the controls for the external mirrors so I can adjust those. And they also are heated, but the heating button is right here in the middle of the dash. So it might take a minute to find that out if you're brand new to this super seat. Then the ignition is also over here on the left hand side, which is a little bit different. So ignition here and then just to the side of the ignition button is your auxiliary start. So that's basically your battery boost. So say you um, come into the coach and your house batteries are dead, you want to try to tie those chassis and house batteries together to give you enough amperage so you can start your generator, start charging that up, and then get every your house batteries charged up and going. So it's nice to have that feature. Then we have our lights here. So we have the brights and we have our increase and decrease. That is how you can increase and decrease the um, brightness and dimness of your screens here. Then we have our cruise control. So you can turn that on or off here and then you've got the set and resume just below that. Then over here on your steering column, you're gonna have your um, brights where you can flash those brights and then your windshield wipers and your windshield wiper fluid. You can push that there too. Now right in front of me on my screen here at the dash, I can go through my trip information. So I've got my odometer up there now. I can go to trip one, trip two, and I can scroll through engine information, different services. I can set this up. I'm just kind of scrolling through it. Select your language, active faults, and it's gonna give me information if I have any active faults. So it's gonna tell me all that. I have a DEF gauge up here. So I mentioned when I was on the outside that you can see that from the dash, that's right up here. So we have our Allison transmission control here. So we can go to reverse, neutral, drive. Now, if we wanna check our transmission information, we can just press the plus and the minus together at the same time. And it's gonna give us oil life, filters are okay, trans health okay, no codes. Then you can press the mode here to go into economy mode. That's gonna cause your gear to shift 200 RPM sooner than it normally would through the whole shifting sequence. So these are the controls for your windows, up and down, driver and passenger. This is your engine regeneration button. So this is going to, um, you'll periodically need to do this and you'll get a, an alert on your dash telling you to do it. But basically you're gonna burn off any excess fuel in your exhaust when it tells you to do that and you just do that by pushing that button. This is your engine brake. So you just turn that on right there. Then when you're going driving along, 
you can turn that on and as soon as you take your foot off the gas pedal, the engine will start to brake for you. Here we have our parking brake. So you pull to apply and push to release. So here's your equalizer system for your hydraulic jacks, which are hydraulic down and up. They're not spring loaded. Now you can control it here. You can also do it from an app on your phone. So I can just hit the power and auto level. So that's really cool. If you're outside and want to watch your jacks, you know, in motion, you can do it from outside the coach. And you can just hit retract all to retract the jacks when you're ready. Let you know that it's operating. It's going to give you the same information that would here on the system on your dash. All right, jacks are up and we're ready to go so we can just power it off. Pretty cool, huh? So we've got our radio. We're gonna go to the home button right here. So we go back to radio. We can put in a disc and play that right there. Set up and connect our Bluetooth. We have our Sirius XM radio and remember you get a um, three months free subscription um, antennas already installed on this coach. And we got our USB hookup here and our GPS. So we can show our map, put in our destination, figure out our route, all right there. Now this is our lock and unlock, so I can lock the cab or unlock it. Again, this is my mirror heat button, so turn that on and off. And then we've got our 12 volt receptacle here. Down below, we've got the fan control for our dash AC and heat, and then we can direct that wherever we'd like it. We've got our little, I don't know if this is really an ashtray. Do they still put those in coaches? <laughs> or a coin holder right here. We've got our two cup holders, and then just below that, we've got our USB input right there. So each person has a little place to put their sunglasses. We can put some documents up here if we'd like. And then we've got our different lights for the driver and passenger. One last thing before we leave the cockpit, we've got a little map light for both. There's one for the driver and one for the passenger on each side. All right, so before I get ready to drive, I just wanna make sure that my nice, comfy, flex steel seat is in the position that I want it to be in. So I've got the finger control here on the armrest. And then right in front of the seat, I've got the control to move the seat forward and backwards and that's powered. And I can put it up or down in the front and the back, the rear. And then I can adjust the, the back seat as well with the lever over here to my left. So to adjust the steering column, you hit your put your foot on the center pedal here and then you can pull it up or down. And then I'm gonna go ahead, start the coach, and I'm gonna show you how I do the, the high idle on this. You can turn on your cruise control and just hit the set button, and then my RPM started to raise quicker, so I'm gonna air up quicker. So I'm just gonna push to release my park brake. Go ahead and put it in drive, and we're ready to hit the road. The great thing about driving any RV is you've got these nice mirrors. They really do help you see, um, you know, your back end. Make sure you're not going to clip a curb or anything. And now I'm not here. I'm just going to put my blinker on, my turn signal. When I do that, I'm going to see down the full right side of my coach, and I'm clear. All right. So now we're on the freeway. We're just heading, heading past National Indoor RV Centers in Las Vegas to come and visit us. <laughs> um, I've got the coach up to just about 65, so I'm gonna go ahead and just set my cruise control. So I'm gonna turn that on and hit the set button. So now it's a breeze. I've also turned on my engine brake. So I want all the braking power I can get when I need that. So I wanna have that on when I take my foot off the accelerator it's going to automatically start slowing down. I'll demonstrate that in a little bit. 
but this Super C is for the Tim the Toolman, uh, Mad Max Road Warriors. <laughs> Um, you feel kind of tough and strong in here. I love it. Um, you sit up high. I really like that, and I love the nice view that you have. So really, when you're RVing, your trip begins, and the fun begins as soon as you get behind the wheel. They really aren't hard to drive. Your, your tires are out in front of you, so it's just by driving a really beefed up pickup truck with a, you know, a house behind you. But don't be afraid. Another thing that I always um, tell my customers when they're first Learning to drive these is you want to hug the left side of the lane that you're in. Everything bad happens on the right, so just hug that lane. You can kind of look in your mirrors and see where you're staying in the lane. Um, they're really not hard to drive. So you ought to come to National Indoor RV Centers, take one out for, for a test drive and see how you like it. This is a great vehicle if you're heading out to the sand dunes for the weekend with the family. Uh, most of these units will sleep eight. The bunkhouse will sleep ten. So you can bring all your kids, their friends, hang out, roast marshmallows, you know, play with all the toys that you've got there and just have a great time. It's a great way to spend time together with your family and to see this beautiful country. So I'm heading down the freeway. I'm going 65 miles per hour. I went ahead and did my decibel reader, 72.5. So obviously I can be carrying on a conversation with my passenger. I'm not yelling. It's really, quite quiet for this big truck. Okay, so I've got my engine brake on and I'm going to take my foot off the accelerator and you'll see that without me touching the brake, it's gonna automatically start slowing me down. So with the rear air suspension, the heavy duty stabilizer bar and the sack shocks, this really is a nice riding Super C. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video of the 2020 Integra Accolade 37 TS. Now I'm sure you're wondering how much this gorgeous coach would cost you. MSRP, which is what the manufacturer allows us to tell you, is $262,531. If you find, want to find out what I can sell you this coach for, give me a call at 469-277-1120 or visit our website, nirvc.com. Now, with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less with National Indoor RV Centers. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please click the like and subscribe. Also, watch my Retroband video. Come party with us at our next AIM event. We have tons of fun, great rallies. Go to aimclub.org and thanks so much for watching.